Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today on the mill, we have a huge white oak log. And this one, I'm gonna, this is like, I think it's 36 inches high right here. So it's probably about a 34 inch log. And I wanna get an 18 by 18 inch beam out of it for Nate, because he needs two of those for at work. I don't know, they're building something and they need these big heavy oak beams. And I was wondering what to do with this log, so it's going to be boards and a beam. <laughs> Should be a good one. It was a struggle to get this up here. It was a struggle. And there's George. Hey, this one. There it goes again. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be heavy. That is a big log. Huh. Look at that. What? It just clears the Oh my switch. god. <laughs> I haven't measured everything in the shed. And you know sawmill math does not work the same. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't, don't touch it. It's going to fly. That's got to be 200 pounds of slab wood. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Hey, it's oak. the sawdust, two cuts, it's full.
I'm going to go get rid of this, take those two boards off, put them somewhere, and then come back and roll the log. You're not going to take those with this one? No, this one's scrap. Those are boards. Ah, uh, okay. And then we can take a look at the wood once I move these. Ah, come on, you. Climbing over the sawmill, climbing into and out of the cab, getting oh. hernias. Let me know if you want me to try pulling this in. It's called gravity. I think that's straight up and down. So this is an app. It's an angle meter. Oh my God. <laughs> right on 90 degrees. That last little pull just, just nailed it. So according to uh, Log Weight Pro, this is 3,500 pounds when we started. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> okay. The grain's kind of nice. Yeah, where's my camera? I was going to get a shot of that. It's still 36 inches high. This is George admiring his big wood. Be quiet there. So here's the wood after we turned it up on its side. This is... It's still... 36 inches high. <laughs> this is George admiring his big wood. Be quiet there. <laughs> so there is a knot. That's that knot we cut off the top. But, uh, I mean, it's almost quarter sawn there. You can see the reflex around the knot anyway. All right, let's get a cut off the top here. This is just to give you an idea of height, it's almost as tall as me still. Oh, we ran out of gas. Ran out of gas. Now there's enough to finish this log. That log. What? Yeah. I was just pointing and showing the boys what log you were talking about. <laughs> oh, I see. Hi, boys. No, it's hiya, boys. Hey, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you, there. Gotta, you gotta learn how to say that in... in Hola. <laughs> what do they speak in Indonesia? Yeah. Yeah, this is for all those Indonesian women who subscribe to my channel. No, this is for all those Indonesian women who subscribe <laughs> to your channel. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs>
three at once, don't do it. You'll hurt yourself. They're just boards. It's a three inch slab, basically. Well, probably three and a half inch, but. Yeah, but it's a really wide oak three and a half inch slab. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. A little bit of a dip back there. Not too bad. Kind of eighth, sixteenth of an inch. Pretty flat. along the log. That looks pretty good. My shadow's on it. I can't help it, folks. It's nighttime. Shoot, I almost fell. That's some pretty stuff. So this is gonna be a giant 18 inch wide by 18 inch wide beam. You can see the corner, this one edge already. Let's measure and see what we got here. So across the top right now, it's still 23 inches. So I got a lot of cutting to do yet. This way, that's almost 18 there. Well, that's it for tonight. Night, George. Yeah. Wave to me. You can see it's dark out. So I'm gonna loosen the log so it sits on the bark just so that there's no cut wood touching metal. All right, so I've got the block underneath it there. And over here on this side, oh, better turn that off. The water's turned off. I'm gonna have to take the water inside. It's not touching the metal at any of these, so it won't discolor overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come out and saw. Tomorrow it's supposed to be good up until, I don't know, about 2 p.m. Then it's going to be down in the 30s. But before that, it should be in the 40s. So, here you go. That's going to be a big block of wood. All right, back in the morning. It's the next day out here. Got to roll this up. It's cold today, too. It's just above freezing, yeah. right? It's cold out here. Yesterday it was 54 degrees last night when we quit like an hour after sunset. This morning, it's like 34 degrees, so. It's supposed, we're gonna, to, get up, it's supposed to get up to 40, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna flip this over, get a couple more cuts. On this side, I was measuring here, and I have 17 inches down to the bark. But uh, I also have another inch to cut off right here at this end, uh, right here, an inch. So that'll give us more, Let you know, no bark. We should get nice corners on all four corners of this beam. So, good piece of wood. This is going to be fun. Before I push it back over this way, i got to put these down. Make oh, sure that is clean. You don't have to use those. Okay.
so I'm just stopping because the sawdust is full and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take this down to about 20 inches right. and at 20 inches I can flip it and take off from the other side if I have the width here mm -hmm. but at that point I can start balancing it out trying to get a perfect cam. It actually wasn't too heavy. No, it's just a board. Right. Be the stick. Be the stick. <laughs> <laughs> She's being the stick. <laughs> the quick view of the wood. You can see there's some sap wood out at the edge. Twenty-one and three quarters. So I got to get down to twenty. So I'll take an inch and a quarter board off, and I'll call that twenty. So this face is done, and I'm working on this one and this one, trying to get 18 inches. So I'll put that on the Wait, pile. the ones that are currently side to side? The top and bottom I'm cutting down to 18 inches right now. I want to get, I, I need 18 inches of width. Okay. But I need 18 inches this way too. So I'm trying to cut them down. These are wide, man. These are big oak boards. So you're going to keep the boards? Yeah, the boards are mine. Well, let's see how wide we are. Oh, I got 18 there. Where's the bark in there? So here's a narrow bit. Look, 18 and an eighth. Perfect. So I got the width I need. So all I got to do now is go this way. Well, the bottom didn't have enough width. See if there's any place where it doesn't. Yeah, maybe I need to take a little bit more. What am I at here? I'm at 20 and a quarter, almost 20 and a half. So I'll take a one inch board off the top and then I'll have to take another one inch off the other side and we'll have more than enough width. That should be the final cut that I make on that side. Come here, you. You're coming with me. Ha. All right, so now I'm going to flip it up. So this is the bottom, right? Yeah, this is a finished side. So this will be the bottom and I can come down to 18 inches taking boards. And then I just do one more flip and I'm going to cut what's on the bottom now to 18 and we're perfect. It'll be fun to roll over. I can't even move it. I have to move it out so that I can put my uprights up so I can roll the log. Jeez. Doesn't take much. But a big piece of wood to move that's oak that's like still a ton a ton and a half I don't know that's pretty big still
All right, so that should be 19 and a quarter inches from the bottom up to that last cut. So I got one more cut to make here. Oh, okay. That'll size it this way, up and down. And then I got to size it this way because I'm still at 19 and a quarter here. So I got a 19 and a quarter by 19 and a quarter square right now. Oh, I see. He's going to cut to the line next time. And she was saying there's still bark here, but if you look, yeah, 18 I, inches, the bark is gone right there. Yeah, when you take another slice off this side, yeah. Right. And that's the plan. All so right. we're going to get those off the top so I can make my final cut here nice and clean. Is it cleaner when there's no weight on top? No, it doesn't really matter. It's cleaner because I can see what the heck I'm doing. That makes sense. I, you know, I don't have a bunch of log in the way. two sides cut perfect and now it's just this side I gotta cut and then I gotta figure out where to put this thing so I can get it to Nate all right here's the wood there's a knot there there's another knot there and then right here there's a spider knot which is what you get in oak you can see that's flat. So we're good to go. All the way down. Now well, a little bitty dip there. I mean, well, not really, it's my stick. But maybe a sixteenth of an inch. It's flat. For a post, for a post, this is gonna make one heck of a post. <laughs> All right, I gotta roll it up. Square. Mm -hmm. Couldn't yes. get any better than that. Yep. Okay. That's as square as she gets. So maybe it's an illusion because this part's farther forward that it looked higher. The bottom's a little off. Hmm. This is perfect here. The bottom's a little bit off. So I need to take a shim off the bottom, which means I gotta roll it two times. Perfect. It is perfect with this face. All right. And Good. I can't get any better than that. All right. So I'm square here, here, and here. When I flip it, as I do the first flip, and then as I'm doing the second flip, I'm going to stop and come in and make sure the bunks are nice and clean. So 
all these booms as the log comes down. Yeah. That's why I have a wood miser. Because it stands up to them? Yeah, it's welded together good and solid. Sorry. The first line he drew is the one that's finally going to get cut. Maybe not exactly there, but close. Okay, final cut. We're square. Hope you can see that. There's no light. I want to see Nate cut one this square. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 18 and an eighth on the width, which is what I want because it will shrink a little. He wanted 18 by 18. I'm giving him 18 and an eighth by 18 and an eighth. So that's where I'm cutting it here. All right, final cut. It's a little higher than the line because you have to take an extra slice off the bottom. All right, let's clean that off. And this is wide. flat? Mostly. I mean, it's a 16th, you know, but uh, nice square corners. I got a little bit of Wayne right here, maybe that much. <laughs> and a little bit right here, probably about the same amount. I can't, maybe a little bit more. I can't, it's not, there it is. That much Wayne. Other than that, she's beautiful. Okay, Nate, stir. Here you go. 18 and an eighth. 18 and an eighth. 8 foot, 1 inch long. You want it 8 foot so you can trim it up. Got a nice end. But here's the important part. When you cut yours on your woodland mills, I want to see you cut it as square as that. That is square. Oh, just to prove it, oh, here's the other side. That's flat, there's no light. That's square, dude. She don't get no squarer than that. <laughs> the challenge is yours, Nate. Go for it. <laughs> and I got these live edge. There's five inch and a quarter thick. Live edge white oak. Well, that one's not live edge, but this side is. So I don't know, shelves, something like that maybe. And then And then for my winter projects, I've got one, two, three, Four, five more, six more, seven more. <laughs> There's seven of them out here. One of them is a quarter inch thick and it's a little thicker at the other end. But that was a shim I squared up. That one's a half inch and then all the others are inch and a quarter. And that one might only be an inch there, I don't know. But uh, yeah, winter projects, cutting boards, uh, laptop boards, I don't know, those, that's, that's ash there. That's for the surface of the skid that I'm making. The skid is for stacking lumber, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Nate, the challenge is yours, man. <laughs>